My name is Billy Lurk, though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden, captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. Every night for weeks, the same terrifying dream. A street fight, my arm dead and lying in the gutter, my eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. It gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. That boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. This station hasn't been used for years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy. But it's safe so far. saw our orders. Captain says to find out what the Eyeless Gang's doing inside the Alphard. Yeah, I know what they do. The place reeks of black magic. You see the people who went in there? Go after them and they'll curse your cod with pus blisters, if you're lucky. I know your superstitions. Don't believe all that hocus-pocus crap. A gang's a gang. You should worry more about a knife in the back than some curse. If you say so. But let's still wait for the reinforcements. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, huh? Wait here. Just checking something. 
Blood flies, maybe? Oh, I hope not. <clears throat> Someone there? Outsider's eyes. Dowd. They're making him fight? I have to get him out of there. You don't look so tough. Look at you! Trapped like a hound in the pits. Hoping your masters will throw you a bone shark. The first one to admit when I'm scared. And there. See? I said it. I'm scared. Something so. This thing must be keeping Doubt's power suppressed. If I turned it off, nothing could stop him. Locked. Whoever runs this place must have the key. When you get in there, up your agility right off and swing a hard left jab. Works like a charm. You're fighting the black magic fruit? Why don't you roll in sardine paste and swim through hagfish waters instead? This bar is my it's place, not yours. Painful. Get out. So you think I can't take him? I can hold my own in the ring. It's locked. That area's private, get it? But I can let you in for... say a hundred coin. Hey! Open the door! Stay out of sight in there. If you're spotted, we never met. Got it? left. Then what am I gonna do? I have to list another simpering your secret. Only at the Spectre Club. I wonder if that's a private club for Isla's members. Train him up. Roots ripped him to meat gobbets in a blink. Good. We want them vicious. Find some more beggars to train them on. But keep a watchful eye when you're dumping the bodies next time. We don't need the guards sniffing around here again.
so he can't say I didn't. Hello. Know. All right. seek me out one day. I didn't think it would be like this. You were hard to find. How did you end up here? Now let's talk somewhere else. The Eyeless have more secrets than you know. I finally find him and the old man's got me jumping right back into this occult shit. <laughs> Dowd can explain himself back on the dreadful whale. We'll probably get a medal for this. Boxing champion's my ass. Damn it, I need to pee. Oh, oh. Finish my shift, then I can go home, put my feet up. <laughs> Found guilty of standing in my way. Later, I'll be laughing over Rook. first caught sight of doubt, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness, that the void is the source of doubt heresy, and suffering. That the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows? Maybe they're right. The same dream. My arm hacked away. My eye hollow and burning. It still aches. Let's hope it's not some kind of omen. Let me tell you something about the void, Billy Lark. It touches the minds of the dreaming and the dying alike. And sometimes, 
Dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? People usually want something from me. What in the void? But you don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. Wait, what are you? The world was wounded around you. And you carry the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you'll like them. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit! Shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Or doubt? What happened to you? The outsider did this. What did he say? I've had bad dreams for a while now. And he was never there. But I feel good. Strong. Like all those years ago when we ran together. He didn't offer me his mark. Just said some cryptic shit. And left me with this. I never knew what the black-eyed bastard wanted. Be careful. The outsider's gifts come with a price. You won't know. Until it's already been paid. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't have much choice. Neither do I. My connection to the Void is fading. We've got to act soon. Before it takes me forever. You found a way to do it. To kill the Outsider. How? I spent years looking for an answer. I searched the Isles. Tracked down a dozen crazy cults. But there's more to the Eyeless. They've got a relic. The knife that made the Outsider. Thousands of years ago, it's here, in Karnaka. A knife. So you want me to steal it? Soon. First, we need to find out who leads the Eyeless, and where they keep that knife. They're powerful people, wealthy or noble or both. I don't know their names, but they all have an esoteric tattoo that sets them apart. Those low-ranking thugs at the boxing club talked about getting inked in the Red Camellia in the Upper Syria district. I'll go there and see what I can find. Try to rest out. I couldn't do this on my own anymore, Billy. Thank you. Maybe try my luck at dice. This must be where the eyeless get inked. I always wanted to join a cult. All right, if this is what it takes. Don't flinch. <sighs> 
Sean Yun, the singer, and a city administrator, Ivan Jacoby. These are high-profile people. There's a third leader mentioned, but no name. Hmm. Ugh, what's the holdup? I was supposed to interview Sean Yun hours ago, but it's already noon, and he's a no-show. The Boreal Songbird is sure living up to his reputation as a diva. Didn't anyone tell you? Yun's not receiving guests since the incident with that journalist from the Karnaka Gazette. What, what incident? Don't situation. you read the headlines? If it was me, if I was infested with blood fly larvae, I'd probably kill myself. Let me guess. She likes red camellias. I need to find that flower shop. Exhausted. There's the flower shop. Wei's apartment must be above it. Oh the sound of my own voice. It's like I'm talking to a stone wall for all they listen. The metal crest that low and sweet beneath the mud water's feet Bugle called in the clenched strong and brave When he came back she made no sound But lies a night a broken gr A secret knock, really. Your way now. I have to organize you another thing. Whatever you, you need, I can't help, help you. In. I can't do. Leave. Come on, let's get this shindig started. I want to grab an elbow with Molly at the public. Everything ready? Almost. I activated the floor security. Nobody's getting in there without a world of trouble following. 
Good. Remember what happened last time an uninvited guest wandered in there looking for Yon's autograph? That electrified floor made her scream like a skewered rat. Someone there? But only opera singers could hit notes that high. Yeah. Shame no one heard her over the concert. Might have saved her life. Things around here. Now my job is to stop. Oh well. I've never seen a safe like that before, but I've cracked plenty. This shouldn't be too hard. The key to his safe is a song. That's different. I hear this song everywhere. It's popular. Normally, I'd have to pay a fortune to hear him sing, but that's not why I'm here. Expensive hobby. Poorly, our love ended poorly. I spied a lass from Bristol.
this is a new one. The punch cards are already selling fast. seen a safe like that before but I've cracked plenty this shouldn't be too hard in a bank vault? Just my luck. Looks like I need to find that second key. Just by looking at his shoes. Mm. More bad things have happened here in the last five years Maybe than all the years of my life shift. before that. I know that so I don't have to listen to him tell me about all the good it was under the... Lebron Plaza, huh? I should pay Ivan Jacoby a visit. of your shadow arm.
It has to be the knife. It's in a bank vault. Just my luck. Looks like I need to find that second key. A lifetime ago, I felt the power of the Void through Dowd. All of us who were close to him could do unnatural things. Move from rooftop to rooftop in the blink of an eye. Fall on our enemies and slit their throats, like shadows sharpened to a fine edge. I made Dunwall bleed for all it had done to me, to the ones I loved. Now the Outsider has given that back, for reasons I don't understand. But it feels good. We killed so many rich bastards who thought nothing of hurting us. It felt like justice. Is the outsider to blame for what we did? Does corruption come from the void? Or from our own hearts? Witches and charlatans wearing necklaces of fingers and teeth. Cities sliding into chaos. Now the eyeless peddle black magic in the streets while their leaders keep even more dangerous secrets locked away. They've got a relic that turned a boy into a god, centuries ago. A knife that might be the only way to destroy that god. The outsider knows I intend to steal it. Does he know what else I intend to do? You gave me this for luck, my sweet Deirdre. I don't know if it's ever worked that way, but maybe it will, this time. <laughs> I'm ready to rob the bank. It's time. Soon, you'll have the knife that can end him. It didn't kill him before. It made him into a god. Then, it can unmake him. The bank is owned and managed by Dolores Michaels. I've cased the place and talked to some people, and there are a few ways inside. Others have tried and failed to rob it before. They didn't have the focus we do. We're not after coin. How do you plan to get inside? There are three possible ways. The roof, the trash disposal, and the sewers. All of them might work. Once I'm in, I need to find the vault. The knife must be in there. The security in the bank will be high. What have you learned? Not much. Guards, clockwork soldiers, and a lot of locked doors that can only be opened remotely. And that's all before I'd reach the vault itself. There's an intake port on the roof that leads to the bank's ventilation system. If you find enough laudanum, most of the bank's security will be dazed before you even get inside. There was a pharmacy in the district, but it's been seized by the bank. I'll see what I can find. I know how resourceful you can be. These keys you found with the eyeless leaders will lead you to whatever holds the knife. You'll also need the bank manager's key. Deal with her how you see fit. Then I'm ready. Good. I... <coughs> do you want me to stay? No. There's nothing you can do for me here. Go get the knife. Kill the outsider. I trust you to finish this. I will, Dowd. One way or another. You've seen more than most. What we did years ago. The witches who tried to take the throne. The eyeless keeping me in that pit. But I've been to the void, Billy. All the bitterness, hatred and fear. And the outsider gets to choose who wields his black magic and who cowers in the dark. That's something no one should decide. Do you really think he's to blame for all of that? For what we all did? The outsider gave me his mark, knowing what I could do with that kind of power. 
For years, I carved up Dunwall from the inside, until it fell apart. The world doesn't need more men like me. Maybe I should pay Theresia a visit. Bank sent you, didn't they? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I've got nothing left. You can't bleed whale oil from a bone. Tell your trustees that! I'm not from the bank. I saw that your father's pharmacy closed. Do you know where else I can find laudanum? Yes, the auction house. My father used to distill laudanum by hand from a secret family recipe. Poppy thinks sure he called it. Better than factory made. But the bank's selling that along with all of his other worldly possessions. They took everything we had. I'm sorry for your loss. I've read he was murdered. Do you know anything? His body was completely drained of blood when the Grand Guard found him. I've no idea why anyone would want to hurt Father. Anyway, the auction's today. You better hurry. And wear a hat or something. The guards won't let you in looking like that. The Cienfuegos lot looks promising. That wild painting. Striking. Mother would love it. I can't go in there looking like this. I need to find another face. Here for the auction? Please, have a seat. The next bidding will begin shortly. The minimum bid is fixed at 280 coins. Our final lot on the block today comes from the Cienfuegos Pharmacy. That's right, the entire store inventory. You'll get everything from um, syringes to a uh, poppy tincture with uh, plenty of useful items in between. And, ladies and gentlemen, look at this magnificent original painting signed by Eleuterio Cienfuegos himself. Who knew that our late lamented pharmacist had so many talents? Today? Excellent. Grab an eyeful of that Cienfuego slot. It's up next. I'll wait until you're seated to start the auction. <clears throat> anyway, let's go. 
get started. A reminder that all bids are final. If you leave during the auction, your bid is forfeit. Clear? Good. I have a bid of 280 over there. Do I hear more? 280 going once. 280, 300. I have 300. Who bids 320? 300, 320. 320 for an entire estate. Lock, stock, and poppy. 340 over there. I have 340. That's more like it. Do I hear 360? 360. I have 360 over there. How about 380? I have 380. How about an even 400? Do I hear 400? 380. Bid here. Aha! The gentleman of the red jacket knows a bargain when he sees it. 420? Yes. I see you over there. 420 coins for this beautiful lot. Am I bid for 50? 450? Any takers? 420 going once. 420 going twice. Sold for 420 coins. Good. The poppy tincture is mine. I'm sure I can make up the loss at the bank. Congratulations! You've won this fine lot of items from Cienfuegos Pharmacy. Please retrieve your new belongings promptly after the auction. And that's it for bidding today, ladies and gents. But never fear, we'll be back on the block next week with more treasures to tempt the tasteful eye. What would you say to a day at the botanical... Residents of Upper Syria District are reminded... I've got enough to worry about without that constant complaining. K Elemental E. Hugh. Arrest U and V. Double V, X, Y's and Z. Now I got my A's and Z's. Tell me what you think of me. deposit a loan. I'm here to make a withdrawal.
one there. Let's have a look.
don't stand a chance anyway. Easy. Now for the difficult part. I need to stay quiet. They could still wake up if I make too much noise. should be able to open some doors from here.
That must be the vault. It's some kind of fancy elevator. A control room can move the vault into two places. I need to find a way to move that thing, one way or another. Wake up. I need you to let me in. Huh? Outsider's eyes. If Pena caught me sleeping on the job, he'd make me run the shock block. <clears throat> May I have the code, please? Oh, I, uh, I need to find it. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one screwing up today. Check in with Chief Pena. He's in the archives running an inspection. Just, uh, don't tell him about my lapse of attention.
I hate these things. Why are they smiling? This is what I needed. Requesting entry to the security office. Code B15T. I'm only human. One tray. Do they think... Stay right there. 
Security wants a word with you. Security to the vault control room. Security to vault control. Please Someone investigate the suspicious the activity. Security to the vault. Repeat, security to the vault. Robbery in progress. Security to the director's office. Repeat, security to the director's office. Robbery in progress. Fish of the line. Martha, won't you marry me? Twelve weeks I have been at sea. I'm here to steal all your secrets, Dolores. The bank manager has to have the master key to this thing.
that security and I still got to you, Dolores. Like to keep your secrets right where you can see them, don't you, Dolores? The eyeless know a way into the void. I need to find it. Cienfuegos sent eyeless documents to the Royal Conservatory. I need to find out what he knew. The Conservatory is my next step. There's the key to the vault. I can unlock all the Eyeless's secrets with this. A mining camp in the mountain? But it's not right. It's been changed by the Void. It doesn't exist. Or shouldn't. missing until it's too late. Two locks. This has to be the one. You and I were both abandoned when certain futures on dangerous streets and taken in by murderers. Doubt spared your life all those years ago, but I was taught a lesson that you still haven't learned. Someone stay with you, even in the void. Give it to me. I don't have time for this. Time repeats in the same unending patterns. Four thousand years ago, this knife cut my name away. Forgotten forever. You know what it's like to lose one name and live with another. We are all made by the things that are taken from us. I've seen the people you've twisted with your poisonous magic. You know what I want. You know I'm coming for you. I know more than most. I know that time is bleeding into itself around you. I know that you have felt it, and you are searching for the places where the world has broken against the void. I know that doubt is dead where you left him on your ruined ship, and you will carry that knife with you to face me at the black center of all things. Why are you doing this? Why are you talking to me now? I'm here because you are different. The Void has found you through the cracks in your broken life. And when you cut me out of it, what will remain? What will you leave behind when you walk away? What does the Outsider want from me? Is he really gone? I have the knife. I need to get back to the dreadful will.
I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars, water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Dowd, gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the Void can collect. For years, I imagined the Outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him. A weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the Void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful wail burned to cinders, did the Outsider laugh or just watch? Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. I had that ship for years, and it burned away in hours. Dowd is dead, and Megan Foster died with him. One of the Islas, a painter and pharmacist, stole information about how to enter the void. His name was Cienfuegos, and he was obsessed, just like the rest of them. But he went too far. Before the Eyeless killed him, he sent what he'd stolen to the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Maybe she could have helped him. He never found that out. The curator is gone, but whatever Cienfuegos sent her is still there. The Abbey of the Everyman has taken over. They've sent overseers and oracular sisters to search the place for heresy. I need to find whatever's left of the pharmacist's archive before they tear the conservatory apart. Fine day's work, brother. We need only record the heretical text we burned today, and our task is complete. Now, where's that ledger? Here, on the bench. But don't worry. I already noted all of the burned books. We should see if Sister Rosewood needs a hand, though. She discovered... There's nothing I can save from that fire. It's all ashes. I need to check that ledger and see if what I want is still here. I tell you, I've seen enough take-one-mandrake-root recipes to last a lifetime. No, this was different. Sister Rosewind saw the archive's hiding place in a vision. with that monstrous assassin I shall not Sister Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. 
I need to find them. Hey, what happened here? What? You're not... your face! He's just unconscious. Have you ever encountered one of our blind sisters before, Brother Cirillo? It is very rare indeed for them to journey beyond their chapels. I only saw them once before, during the Feast of Painted Kettles by the end of Dunwall's Rat Plague. Ace! I'm not seeing right! What did you do to me, witch? I don't have time for games! By the fixtures! You don't stand a chance anyway! Oh! What? Now's not the time for a nap.
long, restless hands. She should be burned in the street with the rest of the filth. Why isn't she? It's been three days since she fell. I must send a message to the overseers to come and clean this up. sister. Ours is important work. We all bear the burden of the Abbey's future. Brother Cardoza, at last, I've concluded my study of the hidden archive, especially this silver graph plate. I I can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. Do you think you escaped our grasp?
This is what I needed. Disgraceful. The roots of heresy run rampant and deep here. The High Overseer will want a thorough inventory of every profane item. Whoa! Uh, what did you hear that? Oh, nothing. There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. Shindari North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the silver breath plate with me. Enter the void, a guide to dream interpretation. Where did the witches come by these arcane texts? I didn't recognize half the herbs we discovered in the greenhouse. Maybe they're for cooking. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through. And that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak. Somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there. Protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void. A fear that grips your throat, bends your spine. But I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real, at least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You have uncovered the more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever god came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place, their minds snared up with terrible secrets, keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted 
never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Where is everyone? I hate this place already. simplest tenants. Seek no solace in mundane things, cast aside distractions. Your little pets were distracting your gaze from the void. Where's the harm? I was just feeding the rats and talking to them, like the lonely rat boy from the stories. We're not in a story. The void needs you. I don't want to go to the void anymore. I've seen what happens. The stone grips more than your body. It takes over your mind and heart. This is our purpose, Antero. This is why we're here. Don't fight the influence of the endless and empty. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't want to become like them. <clears throat> don't worry. You Why do they look like that? You hastened from the library yesterday. You commune with the eye. Tell me how you feel for my studies. Yes. I stared into its core and recognized myself. It yearns as I yearn. Under its gaze, I sank beneath the surface of these waters. I walked the path of the envisioned and witnessed the churning of the void in the flesh. Oh. I still feel the eye's presence in my mind. Yes, yes. The dead see with such depth. The eye of the dead god sees all our desires. One day we too shall see the truth. I know it.
I need more weight to get the elevator going. fortunate to experience the passage of Envision twice in one day. I read that Envision can't communicate with us anymore. Can they see us? Or can they only see what's in the void? In Witness by Stone, Nozaku posits that Envision can see us, but choose not to speak. They have loftier matters to ponder when they walk the void. One day, if I'm lucky enough to hear the call and become Envision, I'll still apologize like this. So you say. Outsider himself, fellow seekers. A face instead of the endless dark. Black eyes rather than that malevolent emptiness that came before. A voice speaking to select few, over which otherwise would be the howling of forever. Of nothing without end. And now he sleeps in the ritual hold, held in the crushing grip of the void itself. And he will sleep forever, fellow seekers, for that is our charge. For without the outsider, the void would hunger and roil, and the world itself would shudder. We see what's real, 
we see what's beyond. Together in no. May the eye watch over you. Surely you must, it's essential. The Envision broke apart the gate to the Ritual Vault to maintain the order of our existence. And the pieces exist outside of the passage of time. It is the basis of our semiotics. Thusly, all meaning flows from this state of within and without. Yes, my work focuses on this foundational act. The exclusion of the outsider is necessary to maintain the hermeneutics of the self. What is us, what is they, without the outsider, to create that distinction? Have you encountered Camilla Corre's latest work? There is always the problem of framing, of delimitation. Do these distinctions make communication possible or impossible? Interesting theory. Corre? Oh. That she would question, I, it's what nonsense. Hmm, who's that? I just need some sleep. this? Yes, we are certain of it now. These anomalies spread across our world the moment she returned from the void. What did she discover? How long did she wander there? We don't know. But if her ambitions had been grander than a simple throne? The death of a god is no small thing. It ripples out to the furthest places. And even then, a dead god's eye still remembers the void. She did enough harm as it is. These anomalies threaten everything we've done here. Our foundations are strong. We avoided catastrophe. The outsider remains in the void, and we've held him there for centuries. One woman could never change that. You say that, but Delilah came close. May the eye watch over you. So much. My titles, loved ones, everything. Will it be worth it to see reality finally? To see beyond this pale world? When will I hear the call? Take my place among them in that cold, cold darkness.
people meet outsider face to face. These black eyes. This youthful form untouched by time. I've read varying sources which recount our forebearers walking. Outsider's dead. There's no use in it! The Eye of the Dead God. It's watching me. It's been a part of me since this all started. It's cold. Dead. But it still sees. I can see everything. The void. Like looking under the waves and into the sea. Every shadow. She cannot be far. 
I'll find her. Probably too late now. May the void blacken your eyes. translation and linguistically. It's a pity, really. He was a true school. I wouldn't praise him too loudly. He violated the highest commandments of our society. The ritual hold is forbidden to us, as you well know. I understand his punishment. He But his work... There are things that even those such as we were never meant to gaze upon. that the mark of the outsider this one was obsessed like all the rest what did he find out the combination to his safe might have something to do with those strange symbols is the outsider's name. And this says only spirits in the void can read it. I suppose my bone has been aware of it for a few hours. It's been better to be He's 
Khan. The void is stripping the way. I hear their fingernails inside the walls. Vowed? Why are you here? What are you? Look at us. Trapped here. An eternity on a butcher's block. Waiting for the knife to fall. There's nothing left of me but this. Doubt. I'm here. Look at me. I know that name. I know you. And with blood. And masks and blades raised. Billy Lurk. I need to remember when you hated me. And now you followed me into the void itself. You brought the knife. I can't hurt him. There's nothing I can do. Only you can kill him. How long have I waited here? Too long, old man. There he is. The outsider. All this time dreaming in the void. I wonder if he dreamed about this moment. Go finish it. End his miserable life. He almost looks like he's in pain. Is this really what you want? Is this really what he deserves? You know how this ends, Billy. Billy Lurk. You were the knife in my right hand. Until you were the knife in my back. This is what the Abbey tried to hide. This is what the Eyeless want to know about. I'm at the center of the Void itself. And you're not even some kind of horror I need to face down and fight. You're at my mercy. But you've always been at the mercy of bad people, haven't you? You said I had a choice. Well, I'm here to make it. deserve this. No one deserves this. I won't let the world turn on someone suffering. I knew your eyes when you betrayed me. Hate and desperation. Killing me would solve everything. I found another way. The Outsider lived and breathed once. He spent his days on the streets of some forgotten city. These cultists took everything away from him. Even his name. But I know what it is. His name is the Mark. Only the dead can read it. If we give that back to him, he'll be free. He'll live out the rest of his days as a man like any other. The Mark? No. You're here to kill him. You can't ask me to do this, Billy. Not after everyone he's hurt. Not after everything we've done. Why is he to blame for what we did? He gave us a way to fight back. He never lied to us about what we might become. You know what I became. We looked down on Dunwall as if we owned it. As if we could drown it in blood. Wow. He knew we'd turn into monsters like him. He always knew. And his belly. He can't do anything but harm. I saw the cult who hurt him. He died once at their hands. Look at him. This wasn't his choice. He never asked for this power. Let him end it. Put him out of his misery if you pity him. It's a better future than anything that might wait for him out there. But does he have to die? Years ago, I did something terrible to you. I didn't deserve to live. 
But you let me walk away. You gave me a chance. Let him live, Dao. Let him have the life he lost. Like you did for me. When you left Anmo, I hoped you could live a better life without me. That your future wouldn't be killing for coin until someone came to betray you. Forgiveness is a rare thing in this world, Billy. You're better than I was. Take you out of here. These eyes were closed for centuries, and I saw everything. Down here, I walked through the minds of generations, and now you're free. I can't take back what was done to you all those years ago. No more than I can take back what was done to me. But now you have a chance to be something new. To be something better. It must be strange knowing what you know. Seeing with old eyes all the secrets of the world. We've both seen the worst in people's hearts. But in the end, I gave doubt peace. And maybe you can find some too. There's so much doubt. But there are some things I know are true. The Outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the Void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic. <laughs>